Hi there, I'm Heidi Vella and today I'm with Rachel Murta, Product Line Manager for Geology, Geostats and Science Products at Sequent, a Bentley company. Today we're going to discuss how earth modelling software can support resource estimation and in particular enhance workflows. Thank you for joining me today, Rachel. Thanks for having me, Heidi. So in the current mining landscape, with challenges such as the energy transition, rising demand for mineral resources and increasing geological complexity, resource estimation is critical for the profitability and viability of a mining operation. But what are the main challenges faced by the mining sector when it comes to preparing resource estimates? I think challenges can include anything from data integrity to understanding and communicating uncertainty around estimates. It can include retaining the geological interpretation throughout the MRE process and time pressure to turn around models and estimates. And there's also the increasing complexity of operations. So as, as you um, mentioned there, resources are becoming trickier to find and extract. So of course, geologists face numerous challenges when preparing resource estimates. Some might be unique to their site and some might be common across the industry. I see. So thinking about that, how important is technology innovation in this space? What technology enhancements are making it easier and quicker to ensure model ready data and efficient modeling processes for quicker and better resource estimates? Technological innovation is hugely important. Um, leveraging the power of the cloud for data storage and management and power and processing power um, can advance smarter and connected and more collaborative workflows. So for Sequent and specifically Leapfrog Geo and Edge, which are our geological modeling and resource estimation products, this type of technology allows us to explore opportunities like moving heavy processing tasks to the cloud, which opens up possibilities for faster modeling, um, but also for the potential to offer more advanced geostatistical methods like conditional simulation, for example. Um, so technology really is a crucial enabler for us to deliver industry relevant workflows. Um, and, and, and those wouldn't be realistic uh, to do, you know, sometimes in, in the desktop environment. So yeah, that, the, that type of technology is really helping us to advance things. That's interesting. And so where can this technology go next? Is there room for more innovation? What can the industry expect? What are you guys working on? Yes, yeah, certainly there's, there's more room um, for innovation to extend this technology beyond what we see today in our products. Um, a hot topic right now is AI and uh, how that could transform this data centric industry um, that is mining. So it's really exciting for us to consider the possibilities that ML and AI and cloud computing can bring to the geological and uh, mineral resource workflows. And um, just to give you a small example, we have a team working on a novel ML approach um, right now. And that what that does is identify structural features from gray data and generates insights and inputs for downstream geological modeling and domaining. So that's a very new approach for us to, um, to be working on right now. And it's, it's really this kind of connectivity of the data and the geological modeling and resource estimation augmented with the, this type of machine learning. It's those sorts of innovations that we think will really impact the lives of geologists by removing some of the monotonous and subject, uh, subjective tasks but retaining the critical touch points for the geologist's interpretation right throughout. So that's a really important point for us. And um, that is quite a shift. Um, so mm. do you think there are enough skills within the sector um, to adopt these technologies or does the industry need to make an effort to adapt? Yeah, we've been hearing um, a lot about the shortage of young people uh, choosing to take up geology at university. And, I, you know, the American Geoscience Institute estimated there'd be a shortfall of about 130,000 geoscientists by 2029. So in that sense, we could see a lack of skilled geoscience professionals in general. Um, but in terms of the existing geologists, I think it depends on how the technology is implemented and presented as to how much upskilling a geologist might have to undertake. 
So, you know, for us here at Sequent, we aim to always think about the tasks of the geologist and provide an intuitive workflow for them to follow. Um, that's that has to be underpinned by the technology rather being dictated by the technology. And do you think that um, these new technologies, AI and those advancements can actually attract younger people into geology, perhaps? Absolutely. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think it's it's a really um, it's a really interesting and topical subject right now. There are there's more um, courses being offered at universities around this. The, the data science aspect is is a very flexible um, and exciting kind of career path for people to to um, pick up and follow. So I think it will lend itself to um, creating a more attractive uh, career pathway for younger people to take within that geological context of it. Yeah. And to sum up um, more generally, what trends do you expect to see in the mineral resource estimation space in the near future? I think in terms of reporting, um, it's likely that we'll see increased traceability, reduced subjectivity and a greater awareness of environmental and social governance. And that, that might be due to the um, updated reporting codes and guidelines. More broadly, as those technological advancements that we just spoke about begin to take effect, I think we could see some discussions on the concept of what best practice mineral resource estimation is and what it could be. Okay, thank you, Rachel. I think that's a good point to end things on. You've certainly demonstrated how technology and innovation can and indeed is enhancing this and supporting the mineral exploration space today and into the future. And um, yeah, thank you for joining me today. No problem, Heidi, thank you.